has been a great jar. Hello, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for being here for another video. I've missed you so much. It's been a while since we've done a jar. I usually put out two or three videos a week, but I still am not quite 100%. Let's get started on this wonderful jar because this was the second tang. Someone said even the jar is vintage, which is true. Um, this was the second vintage tang jewelry jar that I bought at an antique store or mall and they have it labeled the same way, odds and ends jewelry, $15. Oh, let me show you the rings of the day in case you're interested. I do have my Cartier, triple 18 karat gold, three colors there. I have a wonderful deco piece. This is a true deco ring. It is absolutely glorious. It was an absolute steal, I believe, on Macari. And I love the way it's curved. Beautiful marcasite, wonderfully set, and have never lost one. And those garnets are just beautiful too, aren't they? I love them. I think they're so pretty. It's uh, nice and bent and old, and I love that ring. This is my 14 karat and sterling silver James Avery Kimmel ring, kind of a puzzle ring. It comes together there. Another vintage piece that I bought on Poshmark. 14 karat gold caged pearl with a diamond as well. Of course, the little pinky ring that is also James Avery 14 karat gold with the crosslet there. All right, so now let's get started with this thing. It's just one strip. Just one strip of tape on that and see what we find. Pull it aside a little bit. Get some of it off the camera there because some of you like it on the camera. Some of you, ooh, look at that beautiful brooch. I hadn't even seen that through the jar. It's empty. Quite a bit of loot in that for sure. And let's look at this beautiful brooch. This looks like a 1928 from this style, but it's quite elaborate. Yeah, I would say this is gorgeous. Oh, wow. I'm still not sure if that's actually the 1928 stamp. What 1928 does, many of their things were not hallmarked with their name, but they used a very much a signature scroll but i'm still not sure if that's it or not i'll have to take a look at my other ones to compare it kind of looks like it and it's definitely in the style of their vintage looks that was what the company did they did victorian and deco uh, designs that's a beautiful brooch though i love this Really pretty. Very nicely done. The color is still wonderful as well. So that's nice. Again, this was only $15. This is ceramic. Looks like a piece of a brooch or something. It's even got like a little tiny remnant of something there. But it, it feels like ceramic or they glued it onto something. It almost looks like it was on a piece of, maybe a piece of clothing, item of clothing, I don't know. Oh, that's an interesting little circle brooch. That's pretty. This is very lightweight, which is sometimes nice with brooches, depending on what you wanna wear it with, right? I do love a circle brooch, it's very pretty. Good color still left on this too. Okay, I've got a button. Oh, look at that. My grandkids are at Disney World this week. They had their spring break this week. They are having the time of their lives. Oh, wow, I love this. Look at this beautiful brooch. And it's kind of a what is this metal? Felt like it was ceramic, but it's glass. So it's a painted glass 
She's a beautiful, what would you say, Art Nouveau? Love that. That's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I like it against my little shrub. She's beautiful. Wouldn't that be a beautiful ring, too? I love this. Wow, I'm not disappointed so far. I was telling him, I thought this was a brooch. I was telling my husband I really want to go back to that antique store as soon as possible because we found some wonderful things there and these jars have not disappointed in the least again i want to thank all of you who are here thank you for your patience it took me a while to come back and have the energy and the voice to do another video and my voice is still kind of crackling and uh, i'll definitely have to edit out all the coughs <laughs> But I appreciate your time so much. This is a gorgeous sailboat. Really pretty. I wish it was a brooch. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Sometimes we wish they were brooches. Sometimes I wish they were pendants. But it's a nice piece. It's definitely a vintage piece. It's so cute. It's very different for it to actually be a pendant, though. It's kind of predictable that it would be a brooch. That is just beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Another one of these Alex and Annie style. This is love, love, life, live, or something. Beautiful charm on this one. Kind of a pave heart. And let's see what it says here. Girlfriends are sisters we choose for ourselves. Oh, that is so cute and so true. So true. If you're lucky. Okay, here's another kind of a faux turquoise. Reminds me of a Sarah Coventry. Very pretty. I love that very simple rope design on that. And they did a good job imitating turquoise there. I like that matrix they put. Oh, by the way, I did find the Jerry's mark on that turtle. I did see it there in the corner. So thanks to everyone who wrote in about that. I appreciate your comments. As always, always leave a comment on anything that you found of interest or that you know something about, or that I misinformed you about, or anything of that nature, because um, that's really the fun of this video series, is um, that we learn from each other. Okay, I think I'm really liking these earrings. I believe these are the type that you can interchange. They usually have these little gold, these are nice and lightweight too, these little gold, um, I don't know, I don't know what you would call them, I guess kind of a, like a little latch like this. And then you could interchange them, or you could probably put them on a hoop like this. Look at that. These are cute. Okay, we got our own look here, because we've got a matching set of these beautiful earrings. Very nicely done, kind of a rhinestone pave if they're not gold anyway they don't look like they are but aren't those cute hey those are that's a good idea Thelma that's a great idea look at that look at that look at that look at that came up with that right here in my own beautiful little head oh my gosh I love it maybe that's the way they came but I was thinking those simple rounded ones and sometimes they would come with onyx and jade and other gemstones actually but these are just a little acrylic and they're gorgeous i think these are great love these 80s looks i have been binge watching david letterman and the big beautiful earrings big beautiful hair well these are actually quite nice I wondered if they are some kind of crystal because they're actually perforated there to let the light in. So those are gorgeous, beautiful hoops. Wow. Very nice. These look like the real deal. 
they really do. I don't think they are because they're not even gold all the way through on the stem. But if anything, they might be sterling. I don't see a mark on them though. And now we have some, these are those faux tortoise, oh my goodness, ivory. It's definitely ivory. I don't know if it has a matching one. Um, these, well, these are shell, but they're not the puka. Many people call these puka, they're not. They're just shell. The puka are the round ones. And I love these, these are really nice. These came in the last jar, I believe. These are the puka. And these are strung very nicely too. All right, so then we got these shell. Very cute. One ivory, and these are usually with gold wire around them. They used to do these quite a bit in the 70s. They had the rings and the earrings, and so I recognize it right away. Oh, I think, wow, these are beautiful hoops. Can't beat a gold hoop. Look at that, and they're matching too. Lightweight as well. Love a dangle hoop. I am so happy with this jar. Look at that. Look at those, perfect. I think they're about two inches. They're lightweight, they're in good condition. They still have their backs. Let me take a look at those backs. I don't believe these are gold, but you just never know. And just having backs excites me. 14K on the back. This one is 14K. So that's nice, because I have other earrings that could use a 14k back. They always get lost on me. The other one doesn't say anything. See what I mean about married? What I said last time about married jewelry. People just want to wear their jewelry so they'll grab a pair of 14 karat backs from their other earrings just to wear these. But these are definitely 14k. Says so right there on the flower. There it Let's see what's in this little bag. Oh, what a beautiful brooch. What is that, a roadrunner? That's gorgeous. Look at him. He's enameled. He's got a red eye. I don't see a mark on him, do you? Beautiful, though. I really love that. We have another, oh, a gold stone. Wow. This has been a great jar. It's nice and hefty too. That's really pretty. Wow. That is a very pretty one. This is a man-made stone. It's called gold stone. And I have seen it in blue as well. Usually these are done, these vintage ones are done in gold filled, but I don't know about this one. And it's made beautifully. That is a very nice brooch. All right, here's another brooch inside this bag. Oh, this one's beautiful. It's got a very nice Victorian look to it. Looks a little contemporary our prong set. They look like metal colored stones in the center and there is no mark on the back. It's a nice brooch though. Here's yet another brooch. This also looks like a 1928. Mm. Can't quite tell from that scroll either. I don't think it is a scroll. No, it's not a 1928. Very pretty though, and very heavy. Nicely done. This is one of those port call bracelets. DI, this is pretty. I never see them in such good condition. This one actually has, I think they do have little diamonds in them. Every time I find them, they're so worn out. Very nice. I think um, they do, these are kind of a little trinket when you do a cruise or something. I'm not too familiar. And this is broken. It's a little bracelet, shell bracelet. And we have a vintage earring here. Hope we get the match. 
We have more pieces of this ceramic thing. So it's definitely a little crafter remnants on that. Okay, and then it looks like we have a Ten Commandment bracelet here or something. Oh, I think I've had this before. It's not even a bracelet, a bookmark, and I've had this before. I believe I still have it. Yes, so it has all of the commandments very timely during Holy Week. Hope everyone is having a wonderful week. Enjoying your family, your church. If you're enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you do so today. And thank you all who are here. I do appreciate it. Here's another really beautiful brooch. It looks very, very interesting. Look at this. It's a nice deco piece, don't you think? Okay, this one is gold filled, 12 karat gold filled. It did have a nice little rich color, didn't it? There's the stamp in the back. It's very heavy as well. Very interesting. I think you can hang a charm. It's like a little charm holder brooch. See the back of it? You can hang a little something back there i believe awesome i think that's beautiful another single earring this is pretty a little rhinestone crystal i don't know but it's a single here's a beautiful necklace here that this is the alhambra design beautiful on both sides very pretty necklace Genuine pearls, and it's just on a long strand. This is pretty. This make a nice necklace for a pendant, for a long locket or something. Wouldn't that be pretty? I love the colors. Gold, kind of harvesty color. Beautiful. This looks like sterling, but it also looks broken. So yeah, this will have to be a little scrap piece because it has come apart. What a shame. What a beautiful, interesting clasp, isn't it? Very interesting clasp. Well, that's a shame. Oh, look, an amethyst little caged amethyst here. That's pretty. We do have some pearls and chains and be missing some chains, right? Or maybe they just need to be readjusted here, not sure. But they are matched. Big brass hoops with blue pearls. Look like we only have one of these earrings. There's another this is a cabochon amethyst. Hmm, that must have popped off a ring or something, or a brooch. If there's ever anything you see in one of my hauls, please don't hesitate to email at thelmahords at gmail.com. All the information is in my description boxes as well. So I don't sell directly here. I sell on Facebook and I sell on whatnot. And I will be on Facebook tonight, tonight is Saturday. Uh, I do it every Saturday over there, and I try to do whatnot on Wednesdays. It has been a couple of weeks since I've done whatnot because I came, became ill and couldn't do it, and I was out of town as well. So otherwise, though, you should be able to see me over there on Wednesdays. Most weeks, I'm hoping to get back on track over there. And like I said, otherwise, please send me a... A picture of anything you may be interested in we can always do a transaction directly through PayPal this is interesting it's on a nice chain as well actually a gold filled chain it is marked gold filled so very nice I am absolutely loving this bag here we have a very heavy little silver charm hmm interesting 
a beautiful scroll work etching there. Can't quite tell if it's silver. I don't see a mark. Pretty. It needs a bail though. Beautiful bracelet. Wow. Look at that. That is very rich looking, very heavy. Look at that fantastic chain. All the little charms are there, it appears. Is that not incredible? I love it. I don't know if this is marked. I feel like it should say Monet or Trafari because it's quite nice. Very nice. Look at that. Wowee. This bag more than tripled its value, I believe, with all of the wonderful goodies. I hope you enjoyed looking through this as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Please come back for another video soon. I will bring you another jewelry jar soon. I do have a few more to open with you. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you back here again very soon. Thank you again.